Hello, everyone, and welcome to the 4.30 p.m. to 5 p.m. session of the 2021 Open Simulator Community Conference. In this session, we are pleased to introduce the presentation, an easy to implement open simulator front end with WordPress and W4OS. Our speaker is Magic Oli. Magic is an infographist from Belgium. His early work was the creation of one of the first CMSs. He works in web design, web development, and network management. Early on, he embraced 3D Worlds and created Speculoos World in 2011. He developed some in-house solutions for Speculoos Grid, including an installation setup for Debian, enhanced some existing solutions like a unified set of helper scripts, and contributed to the OpenSim core. Please check out the website found at conference.opensimulator.org for speaker bios, details of sessions, and the full schedule of events. The session is being live streamed and recorded, so if you have questions or comments during the session, you may send tweets to at OpenSimCC with the hashtag OSCC21. Welcome, everyone. Let's begin the session. Hello, everybody. Thank you for inviting me, uh, and thanks, uh, everybody, for coming. Uh, my name is always Magic Oli. Uh, we said that. Uh, today I will speak about our project W4OS, which means WordPress for Open Simulator, and uh, I tend to say way for OS, or way for OS. Makes sense. But first, let me tell you uh, how we got there. The Open Simulator uh, setup journey. Download and install. What could go wrong? Well, first, they have there are a huge lot of configuration file, but that's not the main problem. They are uh, well documented. The problem comes from uh, when you try to add features. They come from plenty of different places use different languages, different protocols, and it's not always easy to find the latest ones. And for a public grid, the first feature you'll want to add is online registry. Registration, <laughs> sorry. Here again, there are several existing tools, last updated somewhere between yesterday and 10 years ago. When we started the project, um, they were known for the most popular CMS WordPress. By none, I mean there was something, but just a bit of code uh, split in uh, several uh, different uh, Git repositories, nothing ready to use. So not only did I want to have a solution meeting my needs, but also I wanted an easy solution to be available for everyone. So, why do I want to, to make uh, a single solution, the website and the online registration? Yeah, I, I won't um, speak long about that, but mainly for uniformity. And uh, also, uh, a one-stop shop for all web utils is a really cool thing. Uh, avoid as much as possible installing stuff from different source. Uh, after that, it will make it easier in the future to use grid data to make dynamic dynamic contents on the website. And of course, there is the integration of commerce solutions, which are really easy to implement on WordPress. Social media, of course and the professional look. Uh, the main thing is uniformity. Okay, so WordPress is one of the most popular CMS, so a lot of people uh, would want to use this one as a first cho choice. You will always find people ready to help you because a lot of people know it. It's free, open source, ready to use nearly 
out of the box with a few skills. Uh, and it's a smooth learning curve, so you can start easy and then add feature. There is a lot, a huge catalog of additional teams and uh, extensions, so uh, it's ready for uh, a small project, but also for a big project. Okay, our goals. Um, a full solution, of course, that is the point of it. It's centralizing everything on the same place. Easy to set up. Okay, that's always a, a promise, but we try to do it. Uh, importantly, theme agnostic. The some solutions come with pre-styled boxes or uh, uh, blocks, and if you use a different team, it's a nightmare to override everything. So we go it the, we go the other way. We make it as simple as possible and let the the team do the the stuff. Same thing for the uh, e-commerce. We don't want to 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 implement uh, the e-commerce inside. We just want the the plugin to be ready for existing e-commerce solutions. And of course, it must work for grids, for standalone, uh, hypergrid or not, free or commercial. Okay, that was long before going to the real point, but no. Uh, What's the status of uh, way for us right now? What our uh, do we have already already ready? Uh, grid info and grid status. That's the first thing you you want. Uh, you see the examples on the right of two different blocks of grid status, one with the simple theme of WordPress, the other one uh, customized for a speculous uh, website. You can use blocks, you can use short codes for those who already know WordPress, sidebar widgets, uh, and there, there are also uh, admin dashboards to, to see uh, the, the main most important point when you come in your admin section. Uh, next, yeah, the splash page. Uh, it's included and you can customize it, uh, but it's included with the latest news and of your website and the grid uh, info blocks. Uh, after that, uh, you can do what you want, whatever you want. Okay, now the big stuff, avatar reg registration. User can register, they can choose an initial avatar which you set up when you, uh, from, from the admin console, you create uh, your default account, uh, you just choose uh, what is the name? It's default, by default. <laughs> and uh, uh, yeah, that's it. So they come in all the, with the, they, they are not root, or at least not root 1.0. 1, 1 um, you have web profiles. Uh, so uh, profiles are available on the website with the basic info. Uh, the about text, the profile pictures. You can reserve some names, so people, public cannot use a name like default, admin, or even the name of your grid. So uh, on the speculos, you cannot uh, register uh, John speculos or admin speculos, anything, and uh, the same. Uh, by default, it's blocked for uh, general use, of course, you can still create some from the admin console. 
And the other big stuff is the asset server. It's not a big picture because it's a big feature, but it's just one click. Uh, the asset server, it's not easy to install and it's needed by every website solution. So we integrated it and it just one click and it's automatically uh, uh, recognized and configured for the, for the plugin. Uh, I'm very proud of that. Uh, there is also a basic configuration di diagnostic. Um, so you, when you go to the status page, you see the, if there are things wrong. Instead of the OK mark, uh, there will be a sign. And it gives a few hints on where to change the settings in the uh, any file. Uh, it's based, <laughs> sorry. Uh, it's based on the the configuration, the robust configuration, because uh, it is the place where it needs to be uh, correct. Uh, so that was important not to to say on your website that the welcome page is welcome, and on your any file to say it's a splash, for example. Okay. Um, there are other features. Um, I, will, I will not co cover them here, but um, they were the main ones, uh, in my humble opinion. Um, so that's it for the current status. And now in the future, we want a profile edit page with uh, some parameters like uh, forward mail messages or uh, things that are not available in the viewer. Yeah, the one I cited is available on the on the viewer. But um, offline messages with mail forwarding, uh, it's something we want, even if it's implemented in open semi, it still doesn't seem easy to configure. So uh, it's a workaround solution, um, uh, mostly for the mail forwarding. Um, uh, same for the other other helpers. Some uh, are uh, in uh, in uh, the the available in uh, OpenSIM now. But uh, yeah, uh, for example, the currency. Uh, if you want to implement another one, yeah, of, um, everything maps must be there because uh, because you need to to have maps on your website. Uh, after that, you 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 have uh, uh, region controls for admin and for uh, users. A full commerce integration, as it is now, it already can use uh, e-commerce e via the user roles and uh, capabilities. Capabilities? I don't know. And, and uh, uh, but uh, yeah, we want more uh, efficient full, uh, commerce in integration uh, with the products, uh, templates, file, and things like that. Uh, I put it on the right, on the wrong place on the list, but for admin region controls and user region control, uh, we need to, to have a remote server connection. For now, we only use database. So to start and stop a server, we need to, to, to implement the, the connection uh, direct to the server. But the goal was not to change too much from the initial setup of Open Simulator. That's why we 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 went on the database uh, way, and uh, uh, really, I think we I really want to to see in the future is decentralized service. 
but this is a big project and it will be uh, probably uh, implemented uh, with integration of other tools. But the goal uh, would be for different grids to be able to talk together and uh, share or not uh, their search results and things like that. Uh, in the it, integration, we will integrate our own uh, other projects, including the to do IP events uh, project, which is a fork of the uh, IP events, uh, the initial uh, now uh, defunct project. So uh, we, we made a fork, it seems to work well, and it allows people to share uh, events. <laughs> So, but it will be integrated to be so it can be used inside the, the viewer. For now, it's just uh, via uh, events boards. Uh, we have also a, a teleport board which could use info for from the server with the regions and the regions names and things like that. Okay. Uh, I think um, I covered the, the most important. Uh, now you just need to see it in action. So I've set up a demo grid, and it's already in use, of course, for our own website. Uh, if you want to try and create test accounts, just use the demo, so it doesn't mess up our statistic. Uh, and um, Okay, so um, that's it. Thank you very much. Uh, you can download the plugin from the WordPress directory or uh, from GitHub or from our website. And uh, we try to make it good. Uh, it's uh, speculous.world, not .org. It's oh. wayforus.org and speculus.world. Speculus.world. Okay, well, um, we might have time for one question. Otherwise, that was very interesting, and I look forward very much to seeing more development about this. Okay. Thank you, Magic, for an informative and interesting presentation. As a, reminder to our, much, as, as a reminder to our audience, you will want to check out conference.opensimulator.org to see what is coming up on the conference schedule. You won't want to miss our next session, which will begin at 5 o'clock p.m. in this keynote region and is entitled Open Simulator as a Distributed System, the Future of the Metaverse. Also, we encourage you to visit the OSCC 21 Poster Expo in the OSCC Expo 3 region to find accompanying information on presentations and explore the hypergrid resources in OSCC Expo 2 region, along with sponsor and crowdfunder booths located throughout all of the OSCC Expo regions. Thank you again to our speaker and the audience.